Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking from a Can. We've got a rainy day outside, it just started raining. Uh, we're into a little bit of the green season, I guess actually the beginning of the green season here in Costa Rica, so we're getting more rain, but everything's getting so green. Uh, so yeah, today um, we're gonna be making one of my favorites that I really enjoyed growing up. I was fortunate enough that my mom made a lot of different ethnic foods growing up. She made like Indian food, Chinese food, stews and things like that. So. Um, this is one of the things I always ask her to make and uh, today we're going to be making some wontons that we're going to deep fry later on tonight. So first off we're going to start with uh, two pounds of ground pork. And then two tablespoons of soy sauce. Again you can do more or less. Um, there's no real way to make this. Just make sure everything's kind of balanced. And then we're going to do about five mushrooms. I'm going to take the stems off and then I'm going to put them into the electric slap chop and grind them up. I'm just going to give them a little rough chop to get them into the food processor. So you want to chop up all the ingredients as fine as you can because you are going to be going in, into a little uh, wonton wrapper and if you have the big chunks it can end up poking through the wrapper or it's not consistent so you want to try and chop everything up as fine as you can. Mushrooms are a little hard because they're so moist they almost stick and then they don't actually chop as well as they should or if they do it becomes a mush which you don't really want so just kind of that fine balance is what you need. So now add your mushrooms in with the pork and the soy sauce. So normally this is when we would add water chestnuts, like a small one of the smaller thin cans of water chestnuts. I went all over town today and couldn't find any. Usually Iguana Verde has them, but they're out right now. So yeah, this is when you'd wanna, um, again, chop up the water chestnuts really fine and then add them to the pork mixture. But instead we're gonna now go to garlic. So I have a good handful of garlic. Again, it depends on how much garlic you like. So I'm gonna put that into the electric slop chop, get that chopped up and put it in. So I can't remember if garlic was actually in the original recipe my mom used to make. It's something we love is garlic, so we add it in. Um, yeah, I'll have to ask her if she did garlic as well. I know one of the ingredients, which I'll tell you in a, in a bit, is something we've added. And she had them when we made them one time. She's like, oh, what, what's in there to make it taste like that? And now she makes them with it. Yeah, add your garlic. Shana likes everything nice and garlicky. Could be that she worked at Greek restaurants for most of her life, right? <laughs> she just shakes her head, yes. Okay, so the next thing up is green onion. I've got three sprigs of green onion. Uh, again, it, there's no real rule as to how much you should use. Again, just make it balanced. If you like really like green onion, then put more in. And we're gonna chop this up really fine. Gonna add it into the pork. All right, so the next ingredient, this is the one I was talking about that we started adding, uh, is the Thai or the crushed red pepper flakes. And again, it, you don't have to put this in if you don't like spicy. Um, if you like spicy, put as much as you want in. We like spicy, so we put quite a bit in. Okay, so now that you got all the ingredients into the bowl, you're just gonna mix it up so it's all thoroughly mixed and equal with everything. Just use your hand. Hands, not hand. <laughs> just use your hands. <laughs> or hand, I guess, if you only have one hand. All right, so when you're done, it should look something like this. All right, so now for the wrapping parts, we just have some wonton wrappers. They're the smaller ones, and uh, we had to get these ordered in to the Super China here, which is nice of them to bring them in because they don't usually stock them, and we've been craving wontons for the last little bit. 
Um, so in the grocery stores, typically you'll find these in the fruits and vegetables section in the cooler, kind of where the tofu and stuff is. You'll find packages of them. I know like Safeway or Sobeys and stuff, they had them there, as well as save on in the west coast of BC. So just check there, ask somebody. Or if they don't have them, then most Asian markets will carry them. Okay, so you're just gonna take your wonton wrapper, lay it down on something hard and smooth. We use a cookie sheet when we do ours. You also need a uh, cup of water to dip your finger in to seal the wonton once you fold it over. Then you're just gonna take a little spoonful of the filling, just put it in the center, and you're gonna slide that out of the way. You're gonna just take it from the corner, flip it over to the other corner, kind of flatten it out. And this is where you take your water, just dip your finger in it and just run it along the line here where the flour is or cornstarch, whatever they put on it, just to kind of seal it. Now I'm not the best at doing these. Uh, my mom and Shane are both better, but you basically just, how did we do this again? You flip it. Oh yeah. I can't remember how to do it. I don't know. Something you just kind of fold it over into a little pouch. There is like a better way to do it where it leaves the crispy ends. I'm gonna try and do it. Just something like water. Something like that. Just a little pocket of deliciousness in there of pork and onion and all that good stuff. So yeah, we're gonna now repeat that about a hundred million times and I don't know if it's that many, how many do you think, hundred maybe? So we'll just keep wrapping them up and then uh, once we're done that, we'll just show you what we do to store them and then we're gonna get cooking them later. Okay, so now that we're done that tedious task, um, we got all of our wontons wrapped. It's funny, the diff different wrapping styles that we have. This is Shana's here, they're like little uh, rolls, little logs, and then mine are like pillows. So yeah. Mine are just long pillows. They're just, yeah, these are for like... They're still pillowy, they're just longer. Are these like husband and wife pillows where you can both put your head on it? They're both heads. And then right. this one's just for like a fat head like me. Is that what it's for? <laughs> but yeah, so we got them all all uh, wrapped up. Now what we're gonna do, if we had made more, we would actually put some in the freezer, let them get hard, and then we put them into a Ziploc bag to freeze for a longer term. But because we just made as much as we're gonna have tonight, we're just gonna put them in the fridge and let them cool until we deep fry them. So now that we've had the wontons in the fridge cooling for the last, what is it, a couple hours now? Yeah, we're just watching some uh, Food Network shows and hanging out. Uh, so yeah, they've cooled off in the fridge. I'm gonna take those out. I've got the deep fryer here all preheated to the max, uh, fresh oil in there. So yeah, we're just gonna pull them out and then we're gonna put them into the basket and we're gonna deep fry them. With these wontons, you can either do the deep fry like we're doing tonight, which is, personally my favorite because I like that crispiness, the crunch, dip it in some soy sauce. But you can also use these wontons to create a wonton soup. I'm not a soup person, Shannon loves soup, but I don't know, she likes the, the deep fried version too. So that's why we're going this route. Um, yeah, not being a soup person, I've never really dabbled in that. Maybe one day we'll, we'll do a video on that. But for tonight, we're gonna do deep fried and we're gonna sit down and enjoy these, but let's pull them out of the fridge. All right, so yeah, they're nice and, and cool now. A little bit of moisture on them, which is gonna cause it all to kind of bubble up a bit, but you wanna make sure they're cold. You don't want them to sit out in the warmth, especially with the raw pork like that. So yeah, let's get them in the fryer. Normally I like to fry outside just because of the smell. I don't want it in the house, but it's raining out tonight, unfortunately, so we can't do it. We don't have a covered uh, kitchen outside yet. That's some, 
thing that we want to do in the future is actually have an outdoor kitchen to film these in. But yeah, uh, with fresh oil, it shouldn't be too bad. So I've got it preheated to 375 and they're not going to take as long cooking that way because it is so hot. So with this, we made, what was it 66? Yeah, 66 wontons we made out of. I did 41 and you did 21. Yeah, she, just she, to remind you. Shana like doubled me <laughs> in how many she made. I'm terrible at making them. Like it, I could sit there all day and make 17 and she would make like 145. At least. At least, you know. No, she like doubled me in how many she made. So she, what did you, you said you were at 40. I made 41 and she, she made, made 25. She made 41 and I made 25. <laughs> and I could have kept going. I'm, I'm a terrible wonton roller. I'm not Asian enough. It's because she looks Asian. I guess. Cause I don't look, look Asian. That's what my dad said when we first got together. He thought you were from like oh, Hawaii or said. Japan. So we're just going to throw these in. The camera here is picking it up. So we'll do, because there's 66 total, we're going to do 33 per, per basket. Hopefully they'll fit. Two, four. So I don't want them to stick together. So I've got some in there already and then I'm going to drop it. And then just add them in slowly in the oil. All right, so we're gonna let those cook and get nice and golden brown crispy. Whoa, there's some lightning out there that just like shot across the sky. That um, was yeah, like a big strike that went by. No, it so, was like five. <laughs> was it like five, five forks? So yeah, we're just gonna let those um, get golden brown and crispy. They'll get like a little bubbly because that's how the uh, wonton wrappers are in oil. And I'm not sure exactly the time, just keep an eye on them. Uh, it depends on how hot your oil is and how many wontons you have in there as far as the timing. So we'll just keep an eye on it and kind of get down. separate them a bit with the tongs. They're already starting to close. That's the other thing too, you don't absolutely have to use the basket depending on what type of fryer you want to have. Um, I know if I would have put these in without the basket, they would have stuck to the bottom. Maybe like once they actually start floating a bit, I'll pick, take them out of the basket and just leave them in there and scoop them out. Just so there's more room for them to cook. The baskets kind of restrain them a bit. See they're starting to get a little bit golden brown. It's like a wonton jacuzzi. All right, so we're gonna check on them. It's been probably, what, seven minutes or something like that? Seven to 10 minutes. We're gonna check on them, see how golden brown they are. Yeah, so they look they look uh, done. You wanna make sure you cook them through because it is pork. Even though pork, you can have a little bit raw, but it's not the best when it's something crunchy like this. So yeah, they look good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into a little container with some paper towel and let that oil soak into that so they dry out a bit. Um, I took the baskets out. I'm just going to use a ladle to scoop them up with. Just kind of pick them up and let them drip a bit before you put them in the paper towel, otherwise, it will get really soaked. So excited to have these! It's been a while. So when we were in Canada, this is something we used to make probably once a month, just because we enjoyed them so much. All right, so yeah, they're in the container here. Just let the oil soak through, and now we're gonna plate them up. All right, so there is your deep fried wontons. So we're dipping them in soy sauce. You could make uh, like a, a gyoza dipping sauce, or you could use like a wasabi mayo or a sweet chili. I, I personally like just soy sauce just because of the saltiness with the pork and the crispiness of the wonton. But yeah, you can play around with whatever sauce you want. 
So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking From A Can. Uh, just a reminder, we do have our rentals here. If you want to try staying in a shipping container home, uh, it's a cool way to stay as you travel around Costa Rica. Just visit ccastasamara.com. It has all the information there. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come up with new videos. We're doing another build right now, so there's a little series about that. And we're going to continue doing this series as well. And some other things in the future. And buen provecho. Ciao. Last time I did the, the guac, what was it, the guac, the guac dance or something, what was it, what do you call it? When I did the pickle mole. Yeah. Oh, the holy guacamole dance to get started. This is what, the, the wonton wobble? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like I call it electric slap truck. Eyes are watering from the green onions. <laughs> Strong. For yours? No, because oh, yeah. I have my contacts and <clears throat> yeah. it creates like a protective barrier. Yeah, Shayna has contacts so anything doesn't anything that's like onions and stuff doesn't sting her eyes. Does that seem like? Yeah, he is. He's running around. All he's been sick the last couple days and now he's like running around because he smells of food. Are you feeling better? Are you are you feeling better? He's doing like the donkey head thing. Or the chihuahua head thing. <laughs> Don't want to forget the GoPro in the fridge like last time. I think it was in there for like 25 minutes. And then I uh, remembered it was there. So see you in the next video. Bon appetit. Ciao. No, bon. Not bon appetit. That's French. Okay. Buen provecho. No, buen provecho. Buen? Yeah. Provecho.